All right, so we got some thunderstorms today. Not a good day to go into the high Alps. So we're in the lovely little town of Bueller, which is between St. Gallen and Appenzell. And we're just gonna do like an eight kilometer hike to Appenzell and then check out the town, have lunch, maybe visit the brewery. Let's see what we get into. our first view of Alpstein. As you can see, the Alpen Panorama Bay doing its thing. Oh, it's a rain now. trail guardians. They want to make sure you can't get through. Don't ya? Yeah. So somewhere back there we crossed the cantonal boundary into Appenzell Innerhoden and it's a very Catholic half canton that split from Appenzell Außerhoden uh, which is more the Protestant side of the canton. That right there, my friends, is the smell of Switzerland in progress. Yes, that fresh, sweet smell of cut grass and hay drying with that slight tinge of ammonia. That's where the magic starts. So the nice farmer back there in deep, deep up in cellar dialect just apologized for uh, spraying the road behind his thing. He said it's a little hard to control, but uh, we told him, it's good, it's all good, kind of problem. This is the Thomas Sutter showroom, and the furniture maker here, Herr Brudesauer, is the one that made our dining room table, which I will show you when we get home. The famous spring water for the Benzel Brewery. <laughs> Gonna try this little lovely for the way home. Apple, pear, 
and malt. <laughs> also where the famous Sainty's whiskey is made. And we're gonna try the distillery exclusive. Okay, Mego Downpour has started, so I think this is the end of our visit. We are going to make a run for the train station. Made it to the train. Heading home now. Mega Mega Downpour. Glad to be in a dry place. So unbeknownst to us, today the moving anti-corona measures demonstration has come to Evansville. So we saw the protesters downtown and then they left some lovely items here in the train which you know are gonna make their way This is the beautiful table we had made by the furniture makers at Thomas Sutter in Appenzell. And I fell in love with the chair there the first time we visited. As you can see, it came out really, really nice. European nut tree. And here's the little beauty we brought home with us today, which we will uh, report back on soon. All right, so getting ready to taste the whiskey, you can see that it has a real ruby color. That's because it was aged in port barrels. And this is gonna give it a little sniff. It smells maybe a little bit like cherries and tobacco. Let's give it a little taste. Pretty smooth, um, definitely more fruity than some of the other ones I've tried from the Saint Tees whiskeys, but a nice selection.